Welcome friends to our official first fan tour as we just bought a brand new, well, brand new to us. Yes, not quite brand new. It's a 1987 Volkswagen Westphalia Vanagon camper van. So we already posted two other videos about this van where we talked about why we bought it and all the various things we want to do with it. That is going to be linked down below. We also have an exclusive Patreon video, which is cleaning out all of the various nooks and crannies of the van. So that's on our Patreon. Again, links down below if you wanted to go support us. But this video is our van tour. So let me show you around our unnamed van because we still don't have a name for it yet. So we need suggestions. Leave them down below. As you can see, the paint is in pretty good condition. I do know it was painted once more before and it looks fantastic on the outside. We do have a few stickers, not too many. So we have a lovely pineapple here, a bear wave, a wave, so it's like a bear. Wavy bear. We have another like sticker. I think it's a Pacific Northwest. If it is Pacific Northwest, it's very suiting since that's where we live. Over here we have various hookups. So this is our that's a city water hookup. Yeah, city water hookup, which is currently broken. So this one is our water tank fill. So we have a 50 liter tank of that we can fill up with water to use for our sink, or we can hook up to the city. So we have options for water. Down here is actually our electrical hookup. So you just kind of pull that out and um, you can hook up to any power plug. Then we also have our propane tank down here. It's our propane tank for our stove and our fridge although our fridge doesn't work on propane so i don't know what's up with that but the fridge the stove works great though so these are actually upgraded wheels so this is the go westy 16 inch rims with a inch and a half lift kit that was done by the previous owner which is really awesome because it's something we would have done anyway it just kind of gives the vehicle more stability when we we're driving it because they originally come with 14 inch wheels which is very tiny as you know this is a pop-up so first thing we should do is pop up the top of the van so it's pretty simple to pop it up you just grab these latches here and uh, click it in then kind of push it up like that and use all the strength I have click it in and boom we are popped up now there's plenty of headspace. You can see we have a beautiful red funky skylight, which has been pretty fun actually. Very 80s. Casts like a red glow, which is pretty cool. But if you step out for a sec, you'll see what it looks like with the pop top on. So there you go. Pretty funky. So this is our rear seats. They're actually pretty nice and comfortable. Another advantage of the later 80s models is they have better seats. Um, now there actually is seat belts for this. They're just lap belts so you can strap in and you can ride four people in the vehicle when you're driving. This is also the bottom bed. So first thing, all you got to do to make this bed and access the storage is you pull on this tab here and then you kind of just push it up. Right now we're just storing like our camping chair. These are a bunch of tools, gloves, there's an ax. As you can see, we have all of the seat belts there, so that's for the seat. So to make this a bed, all you gotta do now is just pull it out. And it kind of folds down like that. And this is the back. So the back comes with a cushion there. And this was an additional mattress pad that the previous, or maybe the previous owner before that bought. That will just come out a little bit more elegantly than this. But, uh, there we go. And that is our bed that we are going to be sleeping on. I feel like most of the time it's the main bed that people sleep on. But there is a second bed, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. And uh, flip it back up. There we go. And now we're back to seats. But in here is just cabin space with... Oh, look at what we have here. Chronicles of the year 1987, which is awesome. This was a gift from Matt's parents. And uh, I thought it was very fitting because this is a band from 1987 and we were born in 1987. There's a lot of 1987 happening here. So 
just some light road trip reading. This is our table. So right now it's locked. That unlocks it and just kind of pulls out and swivels like that. We can eat here, we can do work here, we can chop veggies, whatnot. And that kind of, you can swivel that out. That's really nice. And now you have access to more cabinets. So in this cabinet, this is kind of like the like long hanging one. You can put some um, clothes hangers there and you can hang like jackets, etc. It's quite a deep cabinet. So don't really know what we're gonna put in there yet. Probably clothes, because it's a pretty big one. There's also a mirror on this side of the cabinet, which is super nice for... Then we have two cabinets here. They just pop open and you got space there. This is actually access to our water tank. So I was mentioning before, 50 liters of water goes in there. And then we also have another big storage unit and I think, well, that's just like access to more of the like plumbing and electrical stuff. So don't really know what we're gonna put in these drawers yet. We'll figure it out. Maybe like food, cans. We'll move on down to another little cabinet you can store more stuff in there you can only use this when you're hooked up to city power and it's just regular household 120 volts this little knob here just toggles the led lights on and off so you can kind of tell what levels your battery and your water tank is at down here we have the fridge so this is the westphalia fridge nothing crazy special it can run on electrical propane or battery but so far it's only worked for us on hook up so a lot of people actually end up removing them and putting in like an external fridge which is something that we do want to do in the future so in here we just have like so far we just put like a couple utensils some cleaning uh we have our lighter for our stove we've got <laughs> yeah our little westphalia toy car which i got this for like a christmas stocking stuffer a few years ago when I feel like we first started talking about getting a West Valley. Although this is a, I believe, one of the 60s models. So a little bit older than ours, a little bit more fun. But uh, no, what am I saying? Our van's fun. Psh, don't really know where we're gonna put it. Probably not there, but we've got some Polaroids, some pictures that we took of the van when we first got it. And under here we have another drawer of space. So at the moment, it's just all of our cleaning supplies that we were using, plus some like camping uh, mugs, bowls. This is the cooktop. So just kind of unclips here, lifts up, and this is our cooking area. So we have a two burner stove. It runs on propane and you just need that lighter. You just light it, burns, burns great. You can cook all you want. And then this is our sink, which there's no running water. We don't have any water hookup at the moment. And like I mentioned in the previous video, the sink's a little bit broken at the moment. We need to fiddle with the sink and the water lines. And it's, yeah, it's a work in progress, but we will have running water from this sink eventually. As you can see at nighttime, we have all of these curtains that are all around the van. So those are all the privacy curtains. So you can close it up. No one can see inside. We also have this light, which is I don't know what it was originally, but the previous owner put LED lights in it now. So that's super awesome. Much more efficient for the battery. It just flicks on like that. We have a little turtle stick sticker here. That is our only sticker on the inside. Oh no, there's one other one, but we have a little turtle there, which is kind of cute. As I mentioned before, there's a bottom bed and there's also a top bed, which is the top bunk. So you can see here, um, this actually folds out, which I'll show you in a sec, but this is kind of the, the top sleeping area. We do want, this is the original canvas and that's another thing we want to kind of replace. This is a window. So this unzips, it's a little too short for this. Yay! That unzips like that and we have a little mesh bug screen, which is really nice to get some airflow in here. And especially if you're gonna be sleeping up top, which we haven't slept up top yet, so. That'll be interesting. Oh, it's gonna get a little tight. Boom. That's the top sleepy bed. 
I have crawled up there before, but I don't know the proper technique to get up. It's a little awkward. I need like a step stool or something. And we can also take our Go Westy fold out mattress and put that up top as well Ooh, for a little more comfort. I like what it, you're thinking. Back opens up like this, and then underneath all this. And this compartment here is actually our engine. So that's what hosts the engine. Um, I don't feel like I need to open that up for you guys, but, and then we have another cabinet back here, which right now is just hosting. These are extra like bug screens. That is the privacy screen for the front, some hoses for the water line we want to replace. And we have this official factory repair manual. I feel like this will come in handy at least once if if the van breaks down on when us. When the van breaks down. When the van breaks down on us. That's all part of the fun. And Matt's mechanic, so we're good, right? Original 1987 fire extinguisher that came with the van, which none of the previous owners ever replaced, but we did. So we have a brand new fire extinguisher in the van, but we thought we'd keep this. I don't know what we quite want to do with it, but moving up to the front step on inside and driver's seat passenger seat it is an automatic we ended up choosing an automatic because <laughs> i can't drive manual and it's actually kind of it's a harder manual drive it's just awkward kind of finding your gear but mm -hmm. it's something you definitely get used to but if you're learning it for the first time. Which on, I would be. Yeah, it'd be a difficult one to learn on, I think. This is just a little insert, so there's no actual, like, middle bit usual, like, usually in these vans. So this is something the previous owner just bought and put in, which is handy, because we can keep our water bottles and our coffee and our phones in there. Comfortable seats that are very upright, so we'll have great posture while driving. The previous owner also put in a brand new stereo system that has Bluetooth, although <laughs> you can't really hear that much when you're driving because the road noises are a little loud. We have our ashtray for all the various cigarettes that we don't smoke in a van. So I've drove this van a few times now and it's so much fun, guys. It is so much fun to drive. It's got great visibility and I just feel like doo -doo 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 -doo. It feels like you're driving a bus. It does feel like you're driving a bus. You don't go very fast. I think like on some of the hills, like 80 to 100, we definitely got up to 100 kilometers an hour, which I thought was pretty that, awesome. That was at the bottom of the hill. That was at the bottom of the hill. We were not 100 kilometers at the top of the hill. It's just a whole lot of fun, guys. We're not going anywhere anytime fast or anytime fast, does that make sense? But we're having a good time while enjoying the journey. Westy life. It's Westy life. And very excited. I hope you guys are too. So that's the end of this van tour. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. And uh, we'll see you guys on the road in our Westphalia van. Bye.